Can we please talk about Last Wheel of Mutt? When I record videos, I have these headphones on. I'm just listening to Spotify. I don't like going on the mic and talking to people. And honestly, half the time, people are just on the phone or they have their speakers really loud. And that's why the mic is going off. So last we lament, when I was recording, I just thought maybe this guy was yapping. Maybe he was talking to me. Who knows? Who cares? It's usually friendly. But this dude in the last episode might have been the most toxic person I've ever encountered in 15 years of playing online video games. And I played Modern Warfare 2 COD lobbies. Yo mama finna beat the f*** out you. She on the way with the belt now. <laughs> your mom said she finna beat the white off your Regardless, it's so satisfying to see that dub. And we advance to today's Wheel of Mutt, the NFC Championship. Definitely built an insane team. This team is so ready for the NFC Championship, and we'll get to add two players to the squad. Quick review of the team. We've got a stud offensive line, but I wouldn't hate swapping out Whitworth. Sam Laporta, Gronkowski as our tight ends. Amari Cooper, Justin Jefferson, Randy Moss as our wide receivers. Tiki Barber, Warren Moon, and Akoye, a legendary backfield. Defensively, we got the Bob. We got Gronk, Roquan, and Ray. Minka Derwin up high. Peanut Tillman, Sertan, and Bo at our corners. Nick Bosa, Jalen Carter, Miles Garrett, and Aaron Donald on the D-line. Keep in mind, if we win today, we make it to the Super Bowl. And anytime we make a Super Bowl in Wheel of Mutt, we are entitled to one new prestige player. Now, obviously, Christian Okoye is an amazing option. I would lock in a 98 overall fullback. That would be really fun. Randy Moss would also be an insane option. Locking in a 99 speed, six foot four wide receiver. Gold 99. Jason Kelsey. I'm not gonna lie, man. He is really speaking to me. This card guarantees you have identifier for free, guarantees you have secure protector for free, and of course he's a gold 99 tribute, so he's basically a golden ticket. This is the most expensive player on our lineup for a good reason. It would be my second O-line prestige, though. So I, I'm not sold on it, but I really like it right now. Defensively, the only thing I would consider is gold 99 Aaron Donald, or maybe another unique prestige option is Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson has, like, every position in this game. He's got halfback, quarterback, tight end, so I could mix and match Bo Jackson's based on my team's needs. That's not a bad idea. The only problem is he's 96 overall. Next season, we're gonna be seeing a lot of gold 99s. It's hard to say this card's outdated though. He's so good and he also had the game winning interception last game. Regardless, all of that is moot if I don't win today's game. So let's hop straight into it. Not to mention, as we go into our first wheel spin, gold 99 NFL draft players are now in the game. It's on the wheel, so potentially we could get one of those. This stupid wheel spin did me so dirty last time. Now, I wrote this wheel spin like a moron, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play a random mini game. And whatever I score I get, we're gonna put a zero on the end. That's how many coins I have to spend on one player. Everyone can understand that, right? We're gonna play as a random team. Shit. All right, whatever. <laughs> Arizona card, it actually could not be worse. Hey Siri, can you give me a random number one through 25? I actually hate women. Okay. Can you see it? There we go, Siri. The random number is nine, two, three, four, five, six, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, okay, this one doesn't have too high of scores, but if I bet, I bet if we play this perfectly, we can still get a really high score. Pass skeleton out man. Complete passes within the time limit. Bonus points for longer passes, successful skill moves, and celebrating. Completed passes will increase your score multiplier. Now, the most important thing on this drill is consecutively completing passes. That will keep your multiplier. So even if it's a shitty little throw like that, I just gotta complete the pass. Ooh, they rubbed, you morons. Oh my God. Part of the problem is I can't, I can't change the audibles. I can't change the routes. I just gotta rock with whatever little shitter route they give me. That is very open though. I love it. Okay, good clear. Good clear. You can't get all the way in, can you? I hate that we're playing the Falcons too because Trey Anderson's a beast. Oh, good route. Good route. Just catch it. All right, hope is alive. <laughs> I don't feel great, but hope is alive. There's bronze. Just keep completing. Beautiful. Good juke. Oh, am I early? No, I just hit a... Kyler Murray just hit a... <laughs> <laughs> he just hit a pylon. That's actually insane. I did, that shouldn't even be possible. Getting the Cardinals was a death sentence. It was a death sentence. Although that's a really good ball. Ugh, this challenge makes me so mad. I'm gonna have 40,000 coins to spend on a player. I'm not even gonna get a player off of this straight up. I'm not gonna be able to get a player off of this. Oh, a new high score, guys. At 4,000. God, this is so shit. All right, so 4,200 at a zero. 42,000 coins to spend on. That's horrible. Oh my God, I actually have a hilarious idea. Now, here I, here I am complaining, and, and rightfully so, because that sucked, but we're about to make the Super Bowl, hopefully. Look who's 30,000 coins. 93 overall Larry Fitzgerald. You're saying to yourself, Matt, why do you care about 93 overall Larry Fitzgerald? The reason I care about 93 overall Larry Fitzgerald is because Larry Fitzgerald just got this card. Gold 99 NFL Draft Larry Fitzgerald Limited. With insane stats, he's six foot three, Arizona Cardinals legend, ironically, 
since that's who I had in the drill. How awesome would this be as a prestige? This would be amazing. Now, the reason I kind of want to prestige another wide receiver is because Jamar is outdated. That's my prestige wide receiver, but he's not getting another card. Maybe he does. It's definitely possible. I just don't see it. So prestiging that Larry Fitzgerald gives us instead of 98 Randy Moss, we actually get a gold 99 prestige player. So I'm setting up a nice prestige. Didn't have the best drill, but I just might have a gold 99 receiver next season. Kelsey's still an amazing option. Fitz an amazing option. There's a lot that we could go with. Turning nothing into something is what we just did there. All right, that doesn't help us. There's no shock there, but hopefully this next wheel spin will make a significant and immediate impact on our lineup, maybe. Just maybe. Anything 97 overall or higher, keep in mind the GOAT is a jackpot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We don't need the GOAT. Cause we go straight 99. Oh no, who do I take? I have no idea who I want here. Okay, so I think right tackle's out of the question. I don't even think a 99 overall right tackle exists in this game. The, the, uh, the answer came to me instantly. It's so obvious who we take here. Now, the NFL draft cards are really cool. Love the NFL draft cards. This is the best card in the game. I, I genuinely believe that out of every single player in Ultimate Team, this is the best card in the game. Gold 99, Ted Hendricks. You see him a lot on my pack and play team. A 97 speed, six foot seven outside linebacker with Lurk Artist. This is the best. Oh my God, usering this man, you feel like, oh, you feel like the best player on earth. I have to go gold 99 Ted Hendricks here. Also, also would be an amazing prestige. If I prestige him, I would use Gronk's tight end card and I would take Gronk out of middle linebacker. You get Lurk Artist for free and then you actually get one more free ability, whether that's run stopper, goal line stuff, or medium route KO. I'm gonna go medium route KO. Not sure it'll get too much use, but you might as well take it because it's free. Ted Hendricks, literally my favorite card in this game. There is no debate that this is my favorite card in the game. He has 99 acceleration. He's six foot seven. And like I was saying, I actually kind of wanted a left outside linebacker to go in here for Roquan. So he's, he's like the perfect guy for this spot. I'm also going to make sure he's my sub linebacker and I'll make Boz the secondary sub linebacker. So middle linebacker Gronk's kind of taking a sideline spot here, but the Boz has been amazing. I can't, I can't put Gronk in over him. It's really okay because we have Gronk tight end too. So technically we, we shouldn't have either of them. Wow. Okay. So we, we really did make, despite only one wheel spin netting us a real player, we made a huge addition. If we win this game, I'm going to have the toughest prestige choice of my whole life. Randy Moss. Larry Fitz, Nigerian Nightmare, Jason Kelsey, Ted Hendricks. It's gonna, it's not gonna be easy. Let's win first. Let's win first. Last game was not easy. I had to claw back down 8 0 to win last game. Oh, Madden playoffs, baby. Today is the NFC Championship. It's all or nothing. Of course, we gotta get in the challenge wheel. Not so important on today's episode, but super important in the Super Bowl. Gotta take it anyway. It's gonna be Triple Crown. Damn, I haven't gotten Triple Crown in a while. So one player needs to win the Triple Crown. Receptions, receiving yards, touchdowns. It's a tough challenge, but I know we can do it. Gold 99 Vic. Gold 99 Garrett Wilson. Wild card Josh Metellus. We got Boz, Randy Moss, and please tell me I activated Hendricks. Oh, he should be up there as a gold 99. Oh no. Hendricks without Lurk Artist is a big difference. Wow, what a sick NFC championship too. It's the NFC North rivals, the Vikings in their, the Vikings in their classic unis versus the Lions in our classic unis in Ford Field. You really can't ask for much more, gentlemen. That gold 99 Vic is, is a very, very, very scary man. And look at Hendricks. Hendricks has got his abilities. And he's also got gold 99 Gurley. Yeah, he, he picked up a squad. Hey, good news. Hendricks got his abilities. Nothing to complain about. Look at how tall he is. He makes Boz look like a little midget. Look at that. Gonna go with another run play, but this one is all Aaron Donald. The Mad Stork, second and 13. Bend, don't break. We're giving up nothing deep. We're giving up nothing at all. How do I have the ball? And why is Gronk in? What is going on? Gronk is in the end zone. Let's go. I don't need that Hendricks for shit. I thought that was Hendricks. I saw a tall white dude. How did Hendricks get pulled? I'm not here to ask silly questions. I'm here to get W's. Going for the two-point conversion here. Right in the middle. Tiki Barber. Ooh, damn. No two-point conversion. You gotta risk it for the biscuit, boys. Don't be mad. I, I, I actually know what happened. There's some sets that use two middle linebackers instead of all of your outside linebackers. First and 10. He's going pass. He's got a whole lot of nothing. playmakers into the MVP, who pitches it to Sartan. Oh my God, that would have been so legendary. Derwin James gets an interception every game. You're not gonna quit, right, in the NFC Championship? Please don't be that guy. If we're gonna triple crown, I think we give it to Randy. I don't wanna force it too hard though. It'd be really nice if I have a nice RPO that can just consistently go to the same guy. Like RPO alert bubble, going, taking this to Randy will get us receptions and yards. Let's see if it's there. All right, I'm gonna free form that in front of him. That's so annoying. 
This is press man coverage. I don't think there's a man on planet Earth who can press man cover Randy Moss on a corner route successfully. Let's find out. <laughs> Woo! Take me home, baby! Randy Moss, I think, technically has the triple crown right now. He has two receptions, a touchdown, and the most yards of anyone in the game. Going for two again. I'm gonna let Randy Moss clear. Shit. He's all over it. I might have had somebody else. All gas, no brakes. I am not taking my foot off the gas for even a second. I am not gonna let him have an opportunity to get back in this game. I think he's gonna hand this off. He's been playing like shit. Ooh, Hendricks tackled him with my ankles. He's gonna no huddle into a pass, and this is where he'll make a bad decision. This could be game right here. Don't even think about it. Aaron Donald! Vic goes down. It's third and 20. This is not his game right now. Obvious passing scenario, we can guess pass. Get a little extra pass rush off of that. Oh, he gets a really nice right there to Gurley who jukes. Hendricks! Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. What's he gonna do here? We gotta go cover two. Cover two drop. Take everything low. Throws quick! It doesn't matter, it's our ball! I thought that was a pick six, but it doesn't matter, it's our ball. Are we really gonna co cook this man in the NFC Championship? Randy Moss, hot one, hot one. Three receptions, 46 yards and a touchdown. For Randy Moss, he has the triple crown. I'm, I'm trying to stay ahead of potential rage quit here. Sammy boy. Sammy boy, nice catch. Rocking second and five. I'm giving Randy Moss a fade and I'm lobbing that puppy up to him. This is a diabolical game right now. Holy shit! Can I get a two-point conversion? Is it possible? It is possible! Warren Moon, okay, it may say that his throw on the run is 87, but in reality, his throw on the run is 155. This man is a magician over there. Full bar of momentum, 20 to zero with a minute 15 left. I'm thinking we're doing all right here, fellas. I really am. I'm a, dude, I, I don't have an immaculate box here, but if this is a 40 bomb, I gotta go order it. We'll have it for the Super Bowl, which actually sucks, because I don't need it for the Super Bowl. It's kind of obvious to me what's happening here. Like, his game plan is to just have Todd Gurley go off, but he's not running the ball that effectively. And since he's not running it that effectively, he's switching to pass, and he's nervous. I mean, I'm saying that Todd Gurley still is playing well, but just not well enough. Man, Hendricks. Ooh, I'm on Miles Garrett. Not the guy I want, but it doesn't matter. Gosh, I really should prestige that Aaron Donald. Huh? That Aaron Donald's like the best player on this team. He's going to quick snap this on fourth and 14. I would quit. That was open. Yep. Oh, I've never gotten that in a wheel of mud. Oh my God, I've never gotten that in a wheel of mud. Oh my God, the impressive performance. Would you like to quit for free? Oh my God. Oh my God. All Madden Super Bowl. All right, boys. I can't play another one after that. That was perfect. And obviously the next game is actually the Super Bowl. So I want to save that for its own thing. I'm sorry for a quick episode, but it was an awesome one. We have an amazing addition to our team. We completed our challenge wheel. And for that challenge wheel, I'll take an NFL draft pack because it says two 91 pluses. We have a chance at getting a gold 99 limited. Not very good odds at all. Oh, how insane would it be if I, I was gonna say if I pulled gold 99 fits. Max Crosby, Elijah Moore, and Will McDonald. Nothing that we can really use. Unfortunately, packs are just so, so mid this year. Makes me sad. Does not make me happy. Does not make me smile. All right, we do get a spin on the Ridge Wheel for sure. That was actually like, <laughs> they let him quit because he got dunked on so bad. That is crazy. And ooh, plus one one position is actually insanely good right now because I have so many 98s. I can turn just about anyone into a 99. You know, I might go Whitworth because Whitworth is technically a 95. So if I plus one Whitworth, I can get a 96 right tackle. And now he's not out of position. That makes the most sense to me. So for 96 right tackles, there's Havenstein, Wiley. Looks like Havenstein gets good abilities. He's gonna get secure protector. He might also get linchpin. He might have a double up here. I don't know if running two linchpins does anything, but 96 overall right tackle, right Rob Havenstein. It's a slight upgrade from Whitworth, and he's also a Ram. So Havenstein gets linchpin for free, which I already have, so I really don't know if doubling that does anything. Post up a natural talent. I could use if I had space, but I don't, so we'll just go secure protector, and now I've got a slightly better right tackle with an extra ability. That's a pretty nice addition, and he's boosted to a 97. I like that so much better. It also looks cleaner. I hate out of positions. It, it looks like a real beautiful offensive line now. All right, boys, so we have made the Super Bowl. Now we just have this crazy decision to make. Who are we prestiging? Jason Kelsey is 
amazing. I honestly, though, I will say the best player on this team, in my opinion, is Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is so impactful. He is screaming at the quarterback every single play. This card is broken. It's overpowered, and he's getting unstoppable force. As far as winning games goes, I think it makes the most sense to go Aaron Donald. But I'm not always so much concerned about winning games. I'm not a meta player. What I want is the most fun, the best pick for Wheel of Mutt. Is that a six foot seven user, Ted Hendricks? Is that Bo Jackson, who I can mix and match anywhere on the field? Is that Gold 99, Larry Fitzgerald? I don't know, man. It really is going to be a tough decision. I'm going to have to sit and think about it for a little bit. But next episode is the Super Bowl. We got to worry about winning that first. Then we'll talk about the new season. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I apologize for a quick episode today, but it was a pretty good feeling. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.